Welcome back to ABC 57 Saturday kickoff. We're here with our Irish legend. You know him. Everybody knows him. Coach Lou Holtz. Coach, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, thank you for having me. It's been a special weekend so far. Having the opportunity to visit with the Lou's lads last night. Now we're going to have a luncheon today and then beat Georgia tonight. Coach, talk about Lou's lads and why that's so important to you. Well, the players came to me and it used to be Leahy's lads, but they were starting to pass away. They asked if they could have Lou's lads. I said, yes, as long as you do something for the universities, not just social. In 191 cities, uh, Lou's lad in conjunction with the alumni run the food bank in 191 different cities. And uh, we've given scholarships, but uh, today we announced that uh, donating $300,000, we're gonna start a fund to educate the children of our deceased football players. We have lost people like Braxton Banks, uh, Mirko Jerkovic, Dean Brown, uh, Andre Jones, the list goes on and on. So we have an obligation to look out for each other. Coach, talk about being on campus again, how special it is for you and the opportunity that you relish to be back at Notre Dame. It is just special. It's such a beautiful place and people are so friendly. And my grandson's a junior here and my business partner's son's a junior and had breakfast with he and some of his friends. And the, the students are so smart and so vibrant. Uh, it's special. Uh, you don't come to Notre Dame to learn to do something. You come to Notre Dame to learn to be somebody. And I had three children go to school here in the religious atmosphere. I went down to Lighty Grotto last night for my wife's health, and there was not a candle, not a single candle. And I thought, boy, they got final exams early here. <laughs> Talk about this year in particular. Have you had conversations with Coach Kelly and, and, and the players themselves, and, and how do you think they're going to fare this year? I uh, was up here to do the memorial for Eric Parsegian. I had the opportunity to visit with Coach Kelly at that time. He was very optimistic. But I was really impressed with uh, Wimbish, the quarterback. I, not just his talent. I heard how great he was in high school in New Jersey. But what a wonderful young man. And the, the athletes, the coaching staff, the changes they made, I think are very, very positive. And you have to be lucky. And here we have Ethan, a quarterback for Georgia, started 12 games as a true freshman last year. Gets injured in the first game, going to be out for four. The irony, his father played for me here at Notre Dame. His father was a wide receiver for me at Notre Dame. And, but uh, I just think that the way everything's breaking this year, you know, Southern Cal might be a little bit disappointing. And so you look at NC State losing, Wake Forest, Boston College, I think it could be an outstanding year. Well, we've heard it, hashtag beat Georgia. So we've got to get the legendary coaches final score prediction tonight. I think uh, Notre Dame wins by 15. I, I, I really and honestly true. It might be more than that. We're going to find out if they're as good as I think they are. I know we're very talented, we're well coached, and it's just a different atmosphere with this year's team and last year's. Legendary coach Lou Holtz. Lou, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Those are some shoes. Make sure you get those on camera. <laughs> Trying to replicate the Golden Dome. Coach, thank you so much. Joining us here on ABC 57 Saturday kickoff.